A good year of Shabbos, and welcome to a taste of Shabbos. A new Parsha and a new book of the Torah, Parshas Bamidbar and Sefer Bamidbar. Thank you to Torah Anytime for bringing Torah to the world, especially before the 6th of Sivan, the anniversary of the time that the world received the Torah. The Chumash begins with a commandment for accounting of the Jewish people. As it states, Su'u as Rosh Koladas Bnei Yisrael, right? It's Be'echad Lachodesh in the first of the second month in the second year from when they left Egypt. The Malbim asks the unbelievably obvious, important question. Hashem just had us counted within the last uh, several months after the debacle of the golden calf. Why does there need to be an accounting so shortly after the last counting? And it's a identical number. How is it possible that nobody had a birthday from age 19 to 20 or 59 to 60? How do we have the same number accounted? What is going on around here? So there are many different Rishonim that give answers. But the Malbim gives his own insight. And I'd like to introduce it with the following idea. There are people that ask rabbis, Rabbi, why do I have to say the same Shmona Esrei so often? Or, how come we read the same Torah passages every year? Like, come on, let's start a new book. Answer, the Malbim, in this situation, because we're a different people now that we had a Mishkan. Now that Hashem's Shechina rested on top of us after the construction and the consecration of the Mishkan, we're a new people and we need to stand up and be counted again. So too, every tefillah, we're a different person. Every year when we read the Parsha, we're a different person. This year, Parshas Bamidbaros, we read the formation of the Yidden uh, traversing when they went 40 years through the desert in this same format that Yaakov Avinu set them up when they carried Yaakov's body to Ma'aras Hamachpela. Our brothers are marching in Eretz Yisrael in the war of Shomrei Achomos against the Arabs who are fighting in a way that we have not seen up until now. Not only shooting from Gaza, not only missiles into Yerushalayim, but the so-called friendly neighbors in places like Lod and Akko are now not so friendly anymore, burning up shuls and tearing apart a Torah Rahman al It's a different Parshas Bamidbar this year. And so therefore, as we have just entered the Shloshes Yemei Hagbola, the days that we set up boundaries for ourselves around Har Sinai and prepared ourselves, Al Tigshu El Isha, for the receiving of the Torah, let us again prepare amidst all the chaos of the world. First it was Corona, and then it was Meron, and now it's a war. What next? Hopefully something wonderful, but let's prepare. Good Shabbos.